Hello students, welcome to another exciting biology session. Today we begin Unit 3 Biochemical Molecules. This unit is super important because it helps us understand the tiny building blocks that make up all living things, including us. We will be diving into what these molecules are, how they are structured, and why they are essential to life. Let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to do the following. The first, identify the difference between inorganic and organic molecule. Then explain why water is so essential to life. Uh, you will also learn about uh, inorganic ions and how they help the human body function. Next, you will uh, classify organic molecules by their elements and their monomers. Finally, we will explore the structure and function of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. These learning goals will guide us through the entire lesson, so keep them in mind as we go through each, each section. Let's begin with uh, the big picture. Biochemical molecules fall into two main categories. These are inorganic and organic. Inorganic molecules are simpler and they usually do not contain carbon-hydrogen bonds. Examples include water, salts, and certain ions like sodium and potassium. Organic molecules, on the other hand, uh, are carbon-based and uh, more complex. These include carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, or uh, all, uh, all vital for life. And understanding this classification is important because it helps us organize and analyze the chemical substances found in all living organisms. Importance of water. Water is the most essential organic molecule. In fact, your body is over 60% uh, water. And, uh, but what makes water so special? Here are its key properties. First one is high specific heat capacity. It can, it can absorb a lot of heat without changing temperature, which helps regulate body temperature. Uh, universal solvents, uh, which means water dissolves many ionic and polar substances. This is why nutrients, salts, and gases can travel in our blood. Uh, uh, cohesion and adhesion. Water molecules stick to each other and uh, to other surface. This allows water to move through plant, uh, through plant stems and blood vessels. The other one is uh, the other property, key property is density behavior. Icy floats because it's less dense uh, than liquid water. This property helps aquatic life survive under ice. Uh, so water is not just a drink, uh, it's, it's a life supporting substance on molecular level. The role of inorganic ions. The inorganic ions are small but powerful. Let's, let's look at some examples and their roles. Sodium. Sodium helps with, with nerve signals and fluid balance in your body. Potassium, vital for muscle contraction and nerve impulse transmission. Calcium, supports bone health and enables muscle movement. Iron, Found uh, iron found in hemoglobin. It is responsible for carrying oxygen in your blood. Without the uh, without the right balance of these ions, our body system cannot function properly. Which is why mineral uh, rich foods are so important so important in our diet. Organic molecules. Organic molecules are larger and more complex than inorganic ones. There are four major types we need to know. These are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Carbohydrates, the body's main energy source, and lipids store energy, build membranes, and act as hormones. Proteins do everything from building body structures to speeding up chemical reactions. Nucleic acids 
her genetic information in DNA and help make proteins through RNA. All of these are carbon-based and uh, made of smaller units called monomers. These monomers link together to form larger molecules or polymers. Carbohydrates are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a one to one ratio. That means for every carbon atom, there are two hydrogen and one oxygen. They come in three types, monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide. Monos monosaccharides are simple sugars like glucose, whereas disaccharide are two sugars, two sugar units like sucrose, sucrose uh, or table sugar, uh, and polysaccharide are long chains like starch, glycogen, and cellulose. Function of carbohydrates uh, provide quick energy, or uh, uh, glucose is your brain's favorite fuel. Store energy as starch implant implants or glycogen in animals offer structural support like cellulose implant cell walls. So next time you eat bread, rice, or fruit, you are feed, you are feeding your body carbohydrates. Proteins are made up of amino acids joined by peptide bonds. There are there are 20 different amino acids and their combinations form millions of proteins. Protein structure has four levels, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Primary, uh, sequence of amino acids, whereas secondary, local folding into coils or sheets. Tertiary, uh, 3D structures of the entire chain, where uh, the other one is quaternary. Quaternary means multiple chains coming together like hemoglobin. Uh, protein functions include a structure like uh, uh, give a structure like collagen in skin and the bones. The other one is uh, enzymes. Enzymes are proteins and they speed up reactions. For example, amylase breaks down uh, starch. And the other one is transport, like hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. And the proteins are like the multitaskers of the cell. They do, they do it all. Lipids. Lipids are hydrophobic, meaning they don't, they don't mix with water. They come in several forms. Fatty acid, fatty acids, triglycerides, and phospholipids, uh, and also steroids. Fatty acids can be saturated or solid at room temperature, like butter, or unsaturated, li uh, or liquor, like uh, olive oil. Triglycerides are common fats stored in the body for energy, and the other one is phospholipids, phospholipids found in cell membranes, and they form uh, the barrier that protects the cells. Uh, steroids like cholesterol and hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. So next is the function of lipids. Uh, store long-term energy, provide insulation and protection from biological membranes. So these are the main functions of lipids. So also we often hear that fat is bad. The right kinds of fats are actually essential for survival. Uh, nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are the blueprints of life. There are two main types. DNA and RNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid holds genetic information, uh, whereas RNA or ribonucleic acid helps us make proteins, or it is important for the synthesis of proteins. Uh, they are made of nucleotides, which include uh, 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 they are made of nucleotides, which include. Um, 
a sugar or under the sugar, we have the ribose in RNA and the deoxyribose in DNA, uh, a phosphate group, and certainly we have a nitrogen base like adenine, thiamine, guanine, cytosine, or uh, or uracil. DNA is double stranded and stays in the nucleus. RNA is single stranded and travels out to the ribosomes to help with protein synthesis. Without nucleic acids, organisms couldn't grow, repair, or reproduce. Let's review what we have learned. Water is essential for life because of its unique physical and chemical properties. Inorganic ions support many bodily functions like muscle movement and oxygen transport. Organic molecules are categorized into carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids, each with its own structure and function. These molecules interact constantly to maintain life, from energy, from energy use to genetic inheritance. Understanding these molecules help us grasp how life works on a microscopic level, and that's the foundation of all biology. Now it's uh, your turn. Try these activities. Look at food packaging or local dishes. Can you identify which biochemical molecules are present? What, uh, what biochemical changes occur during germination? Think about malting seeds like barley in Ethiopian culture. What biochemical changes occur during germination? These activities will help you connect what we have learned with real life situations. To wrap up, here is a question for you to reflect on. How does these biochemical molecules work together in your body? Think about how carbohydrates provide energy, proteins build your muscle, lipids store energy, and DNA controls everything from your eye color to how your cells function. It's a beautiful symphony happening every second inside you. Thanks for watching. If you found this lesson helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. See you in the next video.